How you doing, BK from ManforWars.com, ManforWars Media reporting on what's going on. It's Saturday, June 6, 2020 in downtown Toronto, Canada, and uh, I am just uh, a little bit uh, east of Church in Carleton. And at ManforWars.com, ManforWars Media promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to look, talk, and feel great. And uh, to help the same polite patriots locally discuss and share uh, information they find online, offline with their neighbors as better people making better places to live. See the description for more on that. And uh, right now, um, we've got uh, formerly world-famous nice polite Canadians being turned into rude, sketchy zombies. They bother you to have to ignore them or bother them back. And then when you bother each other and you're both zombies, they don't like that because once you're a zombie bothering them, can't really do much with you. But then they have fun making more zombies by bothering strangers and running away all day, trying to make everyone kind of rude and sketchy too. And, uh, and so that's what they do. And I'm not wrong, not lying, not crazy. They don't run away from me when I say that. They run towards me and do it. And um, yeah, I think if half the polite Canadians who are polite can politely ignore it, have a little self-respect for next time or next person, then uh, good to go. It's like if somebody's super drunk and they're making you put up with them and they're being obnoxious or whatever, they're like, hey, it's a little self-respect. Next time, see you next time. We'll calm down. We can be cool. We can be cool. Or oh, next person, you can have self-respect for and not be a mess. So I'm heading towards the, uh, the Toronto anti-lockdown protest. I sprained my ankle a bit playing basketball yesterday because, uh, you know, playing harder than I should have been for, for not having played much because of the, uh, the lockdowns and the shutdowns and all that nonsense. But they reopened the courts, and so I'm not going to be walking that fast, but I'll show you what's going on, and uh, you can take a look. And if uh, the polite Canadians can, can save the rest, then, uh, then we, can, uh, we can get along great. We can have a nice place with nice people worth saving, and we can save it from uh, the stupid uh, COVID-19 lockdowns. Or you'll see a lot of these people turned into rioters and looters, you know, people being turned into zombies turned into rioters and looters because uh, they can't communicate well with each other. so easy to control to sort of bother people and destroy everything. So, um, so that's the issue. So let's head west uh, up College Street, or Carlton Street, towards Young, and we'll see what's going on. I've got a little, since I was a kid, this is what we did in Toronto. Poor sketchy person bothering strangers, can't help it, can't explain. You don't blame them, you don't bother them, you don't embarrass them. Just politely ignore it, with self-respect, look down, look at your newspaper, look away. Happy they're gone, enjoy a nice day, enjoy your ride in the subway, and then when, when, when people are not bothering each other, uh, Canadians are really nice. I found Canadians to be some of the nicest people in the world when well, we're not acting rude and sketchy and bothering each other. And for the ones that can't help it and they can't whatever, you just look down, look at your newspaper, look away, and just be happy they're gone. And uh, once they finish bothering all the polite Canadians on the subway, all the nice people who can mind their business or be nice and look at and talk to each other, then everybody else, happy they're gone, just like everybody they know. That's why they bother strangers and run away, because nice to see you. Nobody has time to bother strangers. But not nice to see you. You can bother strangers and run away all day. So. So, uh, so, yeah, just be happy they're gone. Have a nice day. Have a little self-respect for the next time you hang out with them or you see them and you can get along fine. You don't resent them. You don't hate them. They don't bother you. You don't bother them. Or the next person you won't be a mess for. So that, that's key. And uh, that's it. You know? well, they get worked up. Force you put up with them. Don't care about you. Don't respect you. Don't respect them. Just quietly ignore it. Be happy they're gone. And, and other, other Canadians can see you're nice. And uh, you can be nice to each other, relax, and get along. So how you doing? So, you know, nice straight up guy in the street. What's up, what's up? You know, polite and brief like Canadians or Torontonians. You know, how you doing, how you doing? Guys straight up with each other, maybe a little nicer girls, nice to you. Hey, what's up, what's up? We're gonna bother each other, guys. Hey, you doing, not gonna bother you, whatever. And then good to go. But if they are worked up bothering you, they can't help it, they can't explain, just do the same thing we did since I was a kid in Toronto. Just politely ignore it, happy they're gone. They're happy they weren't blamed, bothered, or embarrassed. And, uh, and hopefully they can stop. And if more, more polite Canadians do that with people they know and with strangers, then we can stop it. And we won't have people turn to zombies. And then zombies turn into rioters and looters because they can't respect people. People can't respect them. They can't communicate well. And so they easy to control to sort of bother people and mess people up or, or, or attack people or, or destroy stuff or whatever, right? Because they're just sort of selfish, messed up. You can't talk to people, why, you know, why, what's bothering them. And uh, they like being politely ignored. Since I was a kid, this is part of the social contract in Canada. The poor, sketchy person worked up bothering people, can't help it, can't explain why. You just politely ignored them, and uh, everybody in the subway, you look down, look at the newspaper, look away. Happy they're gone, has a nice day. You know, you don't make a big thing out of it. So, it used to be very rare, nothing against polite Canadians or polite Canadian homeless people or polite Canadian mentally ill people that aren't trying to bother you, but with the ones that are, they can't hang out and get along with the other homeless and mentally ill people or whoever they know on a nice day. They bother strangers and run away. So that becomes their social life. And then you don't get involved. You don't want them to get embarrassed and lie and argue and keep bothering you. you just politely ignore it. You didn't bother them, they didn't bother you, nobody cares. And uh, it's just part of living in the city. <clears throat> yeah, 
what we did since I was a kid. So, a lot of people are super nice. So, if, uh, if, if, you know, half the polite Canadians who can still, you know, show and get respect uh, can politely ignore the ones that, that can't or whatever the ratio is, uh, then, yeah, you'll give them a chance to stop and then they can respect people, people will respect them. And then they'll be able to be nice and look at and talk to people instead of bothering strangers and running away all day. And they don't like it. They just like zombies in a movie. They only like making zombies. They don't like it when you are a zombie because they like the process of running and bothering people and knowing you're not going to like it and attacking you. But once you are a zombie that bothers them, then you're like, oh, great, you're a pain in the ass, I'm a pain in the ass, I bother you, you bother me, can't really be nice, look at, talk to me, listen to each other, we don't feel like it. So they, 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 they just want to go make more zombies and bother strangers and run away. So that's the mass zombie hosis process. And um, yeah, if polite Canadians, uh, you know, half the Canadians, you can still be polite, show and get respect, maybe you have to zombie back and forth fashionably with some other zombies, but not really into it. Maybe you politely ignore it. And, uh, you know, you help them stop. Keep your self-respect for the next time you hang out with them or see them or next time uh, or next person that you hang out with or see. Then, uh, then you can help them stop. Otherwise, that's what we did since I was a kid. You just politely ignored it. You didn't blame them. You didn't bother them. You didn't embarrass them. They can't help it. They can't explain why they get worked up and bother people for no reason until it's hard to pay attention to them. And then they spend most of their day bothering strangers or running away when it's hard to do anything else near people except bother them. They can bother you. So, how are you doing? So, yeah, another polite guy on the street, you know, he knows, you know, the ones that, that they worked up bother you for no reason. Just like on the subway, you politely ignore them, you know, look down at the newspaper, look away, happy they're gone, have a nice day. I mean, not wrong, lying, crazy. They you don't know, run away from you, like, oh man, it's wrong, lying, crazy, wrong. Like, they run towards you and do it. And they've always liked being politely ignored and want to stop since I was a kid. Because it sucks to, to get worked up, bother people, not be able to help it, not be able to explain why. You know, feel guilty, embarrassed, argue, lie. And then when you can't do much near people, they spend most of your day bothering strangers and running away, right? You know, the other polite Canadians getting along, looking at, talking to each other. The other polite Canadian homeless people getting along, looking at, talking to each other. The other polite Canadian mentally ill people getting along, looking at, talking to each other. But the rude sketchy one that bothers you for no reason, makes you put up with them. It's like being politely ignored, instead of blamed, bothered, or embarrassed. And that's what we've done in Toronto since I was a kid. That's what we did since I was a kid, so it's not new. So... You know, otherwise, when people don't do that, Canadians are super nice. You know, they're super nice to me. You know, when they see I'm not bothering people, not paying attention to people bothering people, they're like, oh, great. Yeah, that's great. So it's something I can show and get respect for. So, you know. So if the half that can be, they just sort of politely ignore the half that can't be, then they can help them calm down and stop. Then they'll be able to do something else besides bother people until you bother them or bother people and run away and you know. So. You know, the straight up guys. So that's what I'm saying. There's a good percentage of people out there. I don't do this or look at it. And um, they can be part of Canadian Fight Club. Guys who can respect each other, think, talk, and fight for where they live if they meet privately, right? Now, just like the movie, if they have to spaz out back and forth like a monkey shot with a taser with, uh, with you know, somebody else who's sketchy, then you have to do that publicly, right? And publicly, you got to work. Hey, how's it going? Ah, oh, you know, everything sucks. And this and that. Man, nothing happened. Bye, fine, me too. Mess, mess. You know, whatever. And then you can't look, look at each other. You can't stand to be near each other. You run away from each other and bother somebody else. But uh, the same guys that are not really into that can meet privately, just like in the movie, where they have to be a mess in public or at work or whatever and, and all messed up, can't say, do anything. Uh, but then they can meet privately, think, talk, and fight, and do stuff where they live, right? So I'll give you an example. The bear cage is still here because of the, uh, the recent uh, BLM, Black Lives Matter protests and so on. But... This is one of three Masonic statues here at 40 College Street, just west of uh, Young in College. Um, one is a man with bricks and books on his shoulders on the north side. Another is a little boy uh, pulling a trolley with a giant Washington Monument style obelisk on it. Long tower thing squared at the sides, pyramid in the top. Uh, and then this is a hermaphrodite cop finishing off a pyramid. Now I won't be able to get as close as, as I normally would and I've got other videos on this. But basically it's not a man like Superman, hey, it's a statue of a man, broad shoulders, narrow waist, or a girl, curvy, you know, girl. It's not that, it's sort of a half man, half woman creature finishing off a pyramid. And that's why they attack gender so much because then we can't respect each other, communicate well. We get turned into zombies. Zombies are easily turned to rioters and looters and, and so on. So that's basically part of the, the globalist communist takeover. So um, I'll show you, there's the pyramid. There's the two bricks left. There's the man with that very slim hands, slim arms, slim shoulders, slim torso, thick bubbly legs and butt, longish hair past the collar and a quiet, haunted, sketchy look on their face. And so that's the kind of half man, half woman creature 
that can't show and get respect like men can with each other or can't appreciate uh, a girl being nice, you know, and so on. So that's what they're trying to create as part of this plan, potentially, right? We should definitely have a referendum on this. And uh, this is an example here at 40 College Street, Toronto Police Services Headquarters, of what might be an agenda that uh, could be behind this. Same thing we did since I was a kid here in Toronto. Poor sketchy person, worked up bothering people. Can't help it, can't explain. Don't blame them, don't bother them, don't embarrass them. Don't get into an argument with them. If people typically always want to avoid it because they couldn't help it. If all they wanted to do was bother you, you didn't pay attention to them because they just bother you, right? So they just be happy they're gone. And hopefully they can relax and get along. If they could be, if it's nice to see you, then you have no time or interest in bothering strangers. But if it's not nice to see you, if you bother people, and, you know, they have to ignore you or bother you, and then when you bother each other, you can't really do much with each other, then they can spend all day, all night, their whole life bothering strangers and running away in a big city. Um, you know, and so, otherwise, and I said, not wrong, not lying, not crazy. They don't run away, they run towards you. And again, if, if, if instead of spazzing out back and forth like a monkey hit the crack, this poor sketchy person just bothering people for no reason, and then when it's hard to do anything else, just bothering other people for no reason, um, you just politely ignore it, then uh, yeah, polite Canadians can save uh, polite Canadians from being turned to really sketchy zombies uh, who are then easy to control because they